All right, here's a new one for you. I know we all needed a new disease here in the state of Kentucky. Yesterday, our plant disease diagnostic lab confirmed bacterial leaf scorch in blueberry. Bacterial leaf scorch, or BLS we usually call it, is, is really common in the southeastern states. Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana that I know of. I'm surprised we haven't um, identified it until now. It was in a homeowner planting. I don't know the details. I just know it was a homeowner and the form said 30%. So is that 30% of the plants or 30% uh, effect, effect on this one plant? I don't know yet. So uh, information coming soon. Uh, basically, this is a leaf scorch. So xylella is a xylem. Um, let me back up. Xylella fastidiosa is the causal bacterium. It is a xylem mobile bacterium. So it's in the xylem of the plant and it's restricted there. So uh, because it is stopping the uptake of water and nutrients, you're going to see drought effects of the leaves. So that's why we call it a leaf scorch. I'll show you those pictures in a second. Um, a scorched leaf is eventually going to fall and you may not be able to see, but this defoliated plant, some of those young twigs turn yellow. So those yellow twigs is kind of a telltale sign there. Uh, xylella is spread by cuttings and by plant bugs, or I'm sorry, not plant bugs, leaf hoppers and uh, sharpshooters, just like the other xylellas. Uh, this, is, this is closely related. In fact, it's the same subspecies as the bacterial leaf scorch that affects oak except it's possibly a different genotype. So as far as we know, we don't have to worry about cross infections there. Um, this came from a Georgia publication. This is not mine, but this is pretty typical of a leaf scorch. It's a marginal leaf scorch. So when we say, when we say scorch, we're usually talking about margins. So it looks just like drought damage. And a lot of times there will be a band that is separating healthy tissue from that, um, from the, um, scorched or burned tissue. So if you see that one, let us know. Um, it looks just like drought damage and it's going to occur later in the season when water requirements are higher. So you will think, oh yeah, it's drought. And unfortunately it may be a little harder to detect at first. So just kind of keep your eyes open on that one. 